Hi everyone, it's Miss Torres again. I hope everyone is doing well and is safe. I am back with another science video, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so last week we talked about temperature and we used a certain tool that helped us and that was a thermometer. So now I also have this. So this is called a wind sock. What do you think it could be used for? Wind is moving air. Wind socks are used at airports to tell people how hard the wind is blowing and in what direction. Today, we are going to make our own wind sock and I'm going to take it outdoors and I'm going to see which way the wind is blowing. Let's take a look at the materials that we are going to need today. I'm going to first need construction paper, crepe paper, some string, and some tape. I also used a marker to design the outside of my windsock. Now I'm going to begin by building the top portion of my windsock. I'm going to take the top part of my construction paper and fold it downwards about one and a half centimeters long. Now with the flap folding towards you, I'm going to take a hole puncher and I'm going to hole punch four holes right along the strip. Now that it's hole punched, I'm going to lay it flat on the flap side down and I'm going to write my name. After writing my name, I'm going to add a design of my choice and when I'm finished, I'm going to lay it with my design facing downwards. Now this is called crepe paper, it's also known as streamers, and I'm going to cut the width in half so I have eight strips. Then I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to lay about an inch of glue on the bottom. Then I'm going to take each strip and place it down. When you glue down your strips of crepe paper, you want to make sure that you leave a little bit of space in between. So that way, all eight strips fit nicely onto your construction paper. Now that I have all eight strips glued down, I'm going to take two pieces of string or yarn and I'm going to thread one part through the first loop here and tie a knot. Then I'm going to skip one hole and tie the other end on the third hole punch. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing with my second string, starting with the second hole and then tying a knot and then tying the other end on the last final fourth hole. Now I'm going to take a piece of tape and get it ready by sticking it on the side of my table. And I'm going to take my windsock print side out, fold it so it connects, and add the piece of tape to stick them together.
And there you have it. That is the finished wind sock. I'm super proud of it. It's really cool. And I am going to now take it outside to see what happens. I found a tree and I hung it up on a branch and I want you to observe what it does in the wind. Notice the sock catches the wind and the streamers fly out to the side. The top of the wind sock faces into the wind. The streamers in the tail fly out in the direction the wind is blowing. So let's talk about the focus question. What does a wind sock tell us about the wind? Wind socks show the direction of the wind. Airplane pilots, sailboat operators, and even bike riders need to know wind direction for safe flying, sailing, and biking. Firefighters need to know about wind direction to help put out fires. Knowing about wind can help plan out family activities. For example, today would be a really good day to fly a kite. Alright friends, that was so much fun getting to hang out. That's all for today. Until next time, please be safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye!